so team welcome back uh, day seven for our um, automation training and we are in the second session for our um, data driven framework now we did a very little bit about it what is it and how we got to build it we've not yet explored but primarily we went about installing everything on our machines right from jdk to the latest version of eclipse <clears throat> there was one question as to which version of eclipse to use it will always be the latest eclipse for java so when you look at this downloads team it will automatically be selected for you eclipse id 2019-16 is fine you can download this or you can continue to search for more um, in the eclipse so take the default eclipse platform that comes up team it's not going to be rocket science on that um, so you're looking for eclipse uh, id for java uh, this is fine too what else is there tool platforms what else where else will we find more download let's see that is right for you download packages there you go so once i click on download packages i come to eclipse id for java developers so let me get this link but again see this will keep changing based on the release so you have to update it okay all right let's go back to where we were now having set this up what is it that we could do audio video everything okay team no challenges gee boys i don't need okay great so what is it that we did yesterday very quick look and then we'll continue so we're going to get into a little bit deeper programming team one of the first java programs that we looked ignored a lot of things only thing we learned is every java method must have something called as main sorry every java class must have something called as a main method we will explore this but this is where basic execution will start this becomes my step number one of execution and this becomes my step number two and then we went about building our basic data driven framework we said dot java what is it that it does team so let's look at this there are a few imports out here what are these import statements and what do they mean we discussed about this java comes as a, a core library but then you have the options of other external libraries or what we also call as jars okay so those jar files each of them are all stored together into different libraries altogether. When you want, as you want, we use them. So import statement will let you import that part of the library. So when execution, it will go and search for that. Otherwise, it has to search through a very, very large library. Now, um, syntax error, runtime error. We also spoke about them. What is a syntax error? and theoretically but you have to understand it conceptually team and i'll tell you an example syntax error is basically a communication error uh, a human eye and java are unable to communicate why i'm speaking something that java cannot understand for example in this code if i change this s to a lowercase s it will say that hey you know what i cannot understand what you're writing and it immediately throws up a error with a red cross out here so you take your mouse over it eclipse id gives you that ability to find out what are the options or changes that you could perform to it so here if i scroll down it says change to something how do i know that this works team um, your learning of programming is nothing but once you learn the concepts of how to write logic and algorithm is nothing but few commands what are those different commands and what do they do for us okay so that we will take it very very easy now so your syntax error when is when the uh, challenge is in even in issue um, recognizing the code so you can't even run the code with some red lines here 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 so we have to solve the syntax error first but what is a runtime error runtime error is when we are running that application we're executing it during the run some unexpected error happened if we already know that oh this error will happen then why will we even run it correct everyone so we are running it because we don't know when and when 
uh, where this can happen those are runtime errors so we will use try catch blocks and how to handle this and report automation testing defects syntax error is something we will keep fixing as we keep going along okay great so team there's nothing conceptually we're learning um, uh, we're learning sorry we're learning everything conceptually nothing as a definition so as we go about we'll explore now what is line number four why does it have a yellow line under it so not only does a red line mean that there's an error a yellow line means but basically there's something that is unused so if you take a mouse over it it says that you imported a package but this package has never been used anywhere why because we were only working with chrome out here not firefox so i can remove these and you'll see nothing there is no problem if you run it with extra code it's just not efficient small programs beginning level is not challenge as you go advanced it becomes a big one okay great so that's this so i'll save this as gdf2 team that way we continue to do our things now what are the steps that we have the first step is web driver my driver in java anytime i can write something called as a command uh, sorry comment but before i explain about what these are um, let's write a simple java program and then we will create a j unit out of it okay now do you see team i saved my test as ddf2 but there's a challenge somewhere there is a syntax error what could that be and the prime reason for that is line number five you can see anywhere else there's no other issue and there is an underline on this red underline so the most important concept is your class name ddf2.java and this class name here have to be the same the file name and the class name the main which holds the main method so if i change it to ddf2 it will take it over or take your mouse over it will suggest rename to ddf2 all right so save this all done and dbl it a little and my basic java so this is a basic class team what is a class and method we will talk about more in detail but the whole oops concept is object oriented programming system so what this said is instead of saying everything in life is data and information like we saw it in you know early 90s and you know early 2000s and so on where it's always been about um, what is coming banking transactions or any erp systems it's always about data and then they said why don't we treat them to a different look as treat them everything about object so they said you know we will talk a little bit more team i will emphasize a lot on classes in the next session but you can divide everything into a class a class is a type where everything in that class has some commonality now let us say there are about 40 plus students in this class right now you're all in a class and the commonality is in your uh, automation framework session that's where you are now when we take one object out of that class they all each object one object two up to object 40 will have the same commonality what is that they all belong to the same class they all have are attending and doing the same things and so on for these objects we will add something called as properties to identify them to describe them and then we'll have methods that we will execute team so we will get into oops that is when we will learn a little bit more about classes but just the fact that java has started to not now but when it started at the beginning said i will give importance where i create world like scenarios in my programming systems and that is where the object oriented programming strong concept started okay now let's keep that diagram to the side and let's talk about anything remember i said every java method must have a, every java class should have a main method that is where things will start so i'll say this is public static void main oopsie string of 
arguments and sometimes whenever we make a mistake team java will automatically help us to correct it so see look at how i have done it here and what is a typical main method looking here see i said str if you work with many programming languages like python c sharp and you'll you'll see the differences in how things are mentioned string is one of the data types we've not yet got into it but primarily just str is not sufficient i have to say string of arguments nothing in what you saw saw so far you've learned team okay there's nothing in it just that main method should be there and there's a class name the first thing we explored is siso right See how many times I'm writing this. Oopsie. What am I doing? did it all wrong there you go so now the four print statements team when i execute this nothing but all those four print statements will come down here one after the other now this flow is very critical for us this is your basic java statement every statement in java must end with a semicolon this semicolon says that okay to an instruction back to java that okay my statement ended right there at this point you can also talk about something called as comments comments are let us say that i only want to run my first test and not the next test so putting two forward slashes in front of any one statement is basically going to make that statement nullified it's not going to execute it so when we execute this new program line five six eight are nothing but ignored by java and if you notice selenium id also recognizes that immediately and made that as a green color background so if i execute this you just see a couple of things so you get to see what is happening um, um, by of simple comments but the primary purpose is very simple team now let's run to see what our code is doing and then we will start adding more comments to it take it into um, the other one i'm going to be switching between here and a little here team so we get to understand how things run what does this say the first statement is web driver my driver I do not know what the statement is. Yes, I know what line eight is. It will start my test. But line 10, web driver, my driver, I do not know what it does. So I'll just say that open it, what it does, as I said, Karthik said it. So I'm going to write a comment. Opens any web driver. Actually, the main class of web driver. So what did I do team now to the statement? I can add a comment next to it or above it doesn't matter It basically is saying a note in English back to me as we write programs We will interact our programs are going to be interacted with a lot of other human beings and each human being would like to know what did you write for if the code is good readable as is great if not we need to explore that more any questions so far saying so that's the first command now what is the next thing team and here is the other thing where internal system property and this i when i mentioned this team i want you to kind of soft ignore it soft ignore means you don't have to worry about the intricities of what is the system dot set property web driver.com remember it as a statement keep it handy for you so you know what this does what is this line 15 doing now
this statement web driver my driver is basically creating an object and here we pointing and we'll get into uh, variables very quickly now team pointing to chrome driver which is a child of parent web driver that is what it kind of signifies right now okay and now our first step is on that object we are performing some english like statement called navigate to and we're giving our url to it so this is the one taking us to the application and the test what do you think line 18 is doing team just by looking at the english of it my driver what is it pointing to okay and you'll get this cleared very well team because we'll talk about variables and the web drivers now my driver was earlier pointing to any web driver then i said my driver is no no new chrome driver at this point a new chrome driver will get launched when i say navigate so whenever i say my driver the reference will go to this chrome browser that is opened by selenium okay by when i say selenium it's selenium web driver and on that i'm saying navigate to and url now this goes to youtube.com when now next line is a my driver dot manage dot window dot maximize another command that you learn a bunch of commands we have to learn team not too many so that is that's a beginning thing it will maximize this window not to what it is it will give it a full screen and we are finding an element and sending keys blah 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 that's all we are doing right now there so team if you're looking at i'm not progressing too much on the application itself a lot on the basics so if i run this code now the same code as yesterday i only added comments today nothing changed so it went to youtube it should maximize and write that so great now look at my code team my code basically does this now how do i finish a few things before i end this program and how we end that entire thing i say my at the end of my test what is the first okay what is the last step that we will all do team when our test ends close window correct close browser we want to close that whatever we opened because we're done with that so the last one i know is my driver dot is there close it's taking a little time to come up and it gave an error also my driver dot close okay so that is all i'm doing now if i rerun this test quickly It's done the same thing and it is closed out for us and team please do note anything in red does not necessarily mean that it is um, an error you just have to look at it okay quit and close difference we'll explore later but we're working on a single browser closes closing the single browser that we open quit will close all the uh, browsers that you open through that web driver but let's do the other steps what are the two three other steps that we want to do team in the back of the mind i do have the test case so do not forget about that we do we did write those test steps but we've advanced we know we remember this very well so we know what we want to do actually we didn't even finish it here but let's do it here now um we're going to click on this button so once i click on this button and i go in there i want to get this element so how do i click on the button team so for me to be able to write a statement to click there are two parts to it you remember the what and the where that we wrote within um selenium oops id whenever we go to selenium id team we have three things there the three columns for us correct the first is the command the target and the value 
command is what to do so like open click type and so on target is where to do like id equals name or id equals username or id equals password or xpath equals so on value is whatever you have username k equals ready or whatever that we give those become your value these three become inputs for your each step in selenium ide now the same thing out here on selenium web driver looks a little subtly different and the primary difference is here okay my driver will point you to that correct browser that is the end of the story in it wherever that application is open whatever it is pointing to the browser in that the first thing you do is find an element by using the methodology and you pass whatever is needed and perform the action so your all this is your where okay this action that we'll perform once we find out is what we want to do on it so this is your target this is your command and this basically is your value what you want to type in it team so always it is my driver dot find element that will tell me where then what i have to do and then the send the keys have we explored these steps earlier i something i feel like i'm having a deja vu like i've just explored said this concept uh, a session back or something i don't know okay so now what is the next step i want to click on it so if i say my driver dot find element now by using what methodology should i find this i'm not sure yet so i'll right click here say inspect as soon as I say inspect, it's not going to the right object. Right click again and say inspect. I'm going to copy this and that's fine. Outer HTML and let's say we put it here. Wow, this is a big one, but this button blah 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 is more than enough. Um, it's a button. We know it's like class button and it ends here. So there are a lot of properties but id equals search icon legacy seems promising team there's also here youtube icon and so on on a custom html tag uh, or rather css class so which we can use or ignore but everyone tell me quickly i'm going to give you a quick exercise what is the x path for the selected text based on the selected text can you all put it please in the chat? I want the X path for the selected text for this element that you see and the text selected. Everyone. I'm going to pause the recording for a minute. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Oh, wow. One, two, three. I'm trying to find anything that is defective, uh, at least from the responses. And so far, it's been just perfect in terms of what I'm seeing. Not a comma, underscore, hyphen, space, icon, nothing. Absolutely spot on. And this is what I'm seeing, if this is correct. Slash, slash, forward slashes, button. That's my HTML tag, right? At the rate, attribute name, I'm taking ID equals single quote search hyphen icon hyphen legacy. End of single quotes, end of square brackets. This should be a valid X path. Great. Now let's go back and put it into our code. So I'm going to say by dot X path. So it's a lot of Selenium, sorry, Eclipse ID helping you to type the code as well, T. So having said this, I'm going to put the X path expression itself and everything into double quotes. So I put the X path, I'll close the by. And now I said dot, I should be able to click on it. This should ideally take me to the next thing. Now, 
so you understanding team the division is very simple objects and variables we coming to slowly but my driver dot navigate my driver dot find my driver dot manage it's like this my driver dot close always on my driver that are all the interactions that are selenium web driver related okay now what happens in lot of web application and here is where you all got to be cautious applications time take time to navigate applications take time to navigate okay and there are two things one is implicit weight which we will cover next session because i want to do a little bit of basic junity and i want to put a thread dot sleep i'm only doing this to make my test run and i'm going to let it accept throwing errors and i'll explore and i'll kind of talk about this in a detailed fashion team when we come to um, catching errors and exceptions but this statement makes my java code wait for uh, two seconds why two seconds it is 2000 milliseconds we will use thread dot sleep maybe at least 200 times more so you'll understand more and more now if you notice team i'm saying there is java code there's web driver code and so on i will select a text and you tell me if it is a java code or a web driver code okay if i actually i can't not in this in the next one all right now let's run this and see what happens same code i just had a click after waiting for two seconds but the importance i'm stressing of writing that in one step is your automation skill is nothing but writing 10,000 such beautiful steps so everything happened i don't even know what happened that is the challenge so we've clicked on it but what we want to do is be able to capture some information so i'm going to comment this the first one let's also change this keyword team something we know that will come up um anything that you can suggest keyword I don't know if any want to come up. I did learn selenium, selenium yoga. I like yoga. Just random ones for now. See, I commented the close, so it should not close. Now, what I'm trying to do is the last statement that I wanted to add of the text. I'm going to add out here to you. What happened? Everything done. Okay, yoga, it has done this. And it's printing this yoga from uh, latest from yoga with Adrian. Adrian, Adrian. Sorry, I'm bad with names. <laughs> okay, where am I? What do I want to verify here? There's so much change in the way YouTube looks depending on the search term. See, there are ads sometimes, there are suggestions. I don't know which one. But why is this channel recommended more, for example? Why this one? Is it? So, if I let's say if I want to verify this, so I inspect this again, right click inspect, please and I copy the outer HTML, and that's not gonna help me much. Span ID equals title. Okay, I'll try. So what's my XPath now? Two forward slashes span, open square brackets, at the rate, attribute name is ID equals single quote, title. And team, for those of you who are participating in live projects in the JPAC program, I want you to also start doing things faster. Speak faster, type faster, think faster, read faster, of course, without making mistakes. Your accuracy cannot be compromised, but you gotta be more efficient. Um, I'm doing mistakes, a lot of them, not that I'm perfect, but I would want you all to really make 
us all happy to about it okay span at id equals title that's my x path so now i know that if i say my driver dot find element by dot x path and double quotes this dot now what is it that i want to do on this element can you think of it when this test runs on this element that i identified here i want to check if this text is matching with this text and if i say dot this is what i can do okay so time for a little fresh paint any questions so far team um, it's going to be a busy september month a lot of trainings all related with automation if your friends family interested please do recommend okay back from my sales talk which i rarely do uh where was i here span id title and then okay we're trying to get this text so this is the text we kind of capturing team i lost my thought totally what was i saying just before this There's something i was talking about as a concept a little related to this how to get text no not really ha huh, right actually yes it is correct so see uh, what we are doing as a code that we writing team is the first thing is let's say my driver i'm saying in lot of codes you'll see people saying driver dot and i'm saying find element so till this point my object is located now this is like a box to me i know what i have on this i can perform any action and method on it so depending on the type of the object i can perform the action team now if it is a link i can click on it if it is a button i can click on it i'm talking the regular activities if it is a text field i can click on it i can type in it if it is a radio or a check box let's say i can check it or i can uncheck it so depending on the type of the element the activities that we perform changes and that's also something we will learn into oops as we go on so here as soon as i write dot okay it will tell me that any element that i have within um eclipse sorry within selenium you have these abilities team all the things that you see in this green things out here with the a on top is basically the activities that you able to perform then there are a few in terms of um the properties and so on but what we are interested in the activities and you have to start clicking each of them what is it that you can do clear click and so on you should be getting a tool tip it's not come up right now but what we are trying to achieve is to get the text so whatever text is on that web page and this is the text that we are expecting so if i go to that code here double click on it copy it this is the text i'm expecting now let me introduce to you the concept of variables in java if i say string my expected text equals this value i'm basically creating a memory space and then i'll say string my actual text equals nothing i have nothing in it yet and if i say my actual text equals my driver dot find elements on get text first it will go and find that element that is the where then it will go and find the text within the element that is the what this whole thing on the right side will return to me a value if it is correct and that will be put into this so now i can print two statements and say as simple as 
expected plus my expected text actual my actual text see team so there's nothing complex about java out here it is just basic basic stuff um, in terms of a lot to talk about objects and how we talk in selenium the only first thing i introduced is string next session we'll expand a lot on what strings are variables are uh, but now i have got these two printed i will know what has happened so if i run this let us see what comes out team and you will notice more and more as you write tests that you will hit run sit back and let it run watch it happen and see what comes out and that's pretty fascinating team it keeps everyone interested so all done see i said latest from yoga with adrene is expected adrene expected but actual was trending now that is the problem with the x path because in this somewhere else trending came up now see it looks different if i do the same one again now it's again a little different that's all because of the ads also playing in so you, we need to automate it correctly based on this but let us say this is expected and this is what comes out i will simply say if my expected text dot equals actual text then test pass test fail now see primarily it's very simple team the whole frameworks are nothing but a thousand of this test pass test fail test pass fail pass fail pass fail keep coming up once we can master it at this granular level it is about building it up forward uh, team i have not explained if uh, plus the concatenation of string we will i thought i'll get into basic j unit i couldn't yet I think I should be able to do that too. Oh, it's done. So test fail. It's done everything. I don't think it's closing the windows or not because this is not, but it's fail because I'm expecting it to be something else. Now let us say that each time it is giving me trending itself. That is what is coming up. And instead of this, now I will say trending, All right? Now let's see. So my test failed, correct? I'm kind of forcing it to pass and rerun. Okay, cool. It is my test passed. Now here is the thing. This is one test of mine. So I'll say start of my test one, start of my end of my test one. I want to create one more test, okay? And they have to run one after the other. What is the other test? Same thing, same thing. <laughs> start of my test two. Um, I already have opened web driver, my driver. Oh, I'm fitting it also. If I, so I don't have to redefine that object. That's why it's saying, but I'm closing this. I'm not quitting it luckily. So which is fine. And everything is the same out here till end of my test two. Now the difference is I'm going to go to youtube.com and click on sign in. And that's it. 
just one step team just to show you the difference all right so now what's sign in let's inspect this again right click inspect paper button mm -hmm. id blah 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 lot of things what if it's a paper hyphen button just write an xpath and see let's see copy if i say xpath itself what am i getting right now ah oh, nice <laughs> id equals button so i'll show you see it's a paper id equals button what is the star mean team see in all the xpaths that we've seen we've used the html tag button or span or input or a or um, whatever td and so on a star is basically a regular expression we will hopefully touch upon regular expressions more on xpath advanced please remind me in a week we'll do a little bit advanced xpath team then we'll touch upon this star here means replace it with anything that star can be replaced with anything so any element type any element type as long as the id is button So it's like saying, um, go get me any book as long as it is empty. It's a bunch of books, right? Nothing should be written on it. It's a very clear statement, nothing controversial. Just saying that anything with ID equals button and that's fine. Now, how do I change my code? So it will look almost the same. I'll go to Chrome driver, maximize YouTube, uh, find element by X path. So this I will paste it here. And the methodology that I use team was very simple. I right clicked on this. We typically use copy outer HTML. That is what I would have done. And I would have put paper hyphen button instead of a start there. Uh, but I said, okay, it looked long. Let me cut short. The reason I keep more and more of effort based solutioning at the beginning, you earn, you learn that how to do it. You need effort team. If you don't spread it out, you won't get the results. So now, on line 58, why is there an issue? Can someone explain to me, please? Red line, what is it? Is it a runtime error in Java? Have we executed and did it through an error? No, we have not yet executed. So then it is a syntax error. How do we know? It shows a red line there. What is our solution? Easy one is take our mouse. Without taking my mouse, what else can I use to find a solution? We have to use a little bit of our mind into it. So remember very early on into XPath identification, I was talking about the fact of using single quotes inside them. So if I have double quotes within double quotes, it'll think this is the starting of double quote and end of double quote. So all this becomes one portion and then this becomes one so it wouldn't understand so you need to replace this double quotes inside an xpath with single quotes and that's gone the second error because you cannot define something called as a variable we've not seen uh, yet tomorrow we will explore variables team you cannot declare again you can change the values in it but you cannot declare them again change their types and so on so now I've clicked, okay, what did I do? Wow, where am I? Test case to uh, maximize, ID equals button, no, dot click. Um, then, you know what? I'm gonna actually, Okay, yeah, no. Once I click on ID equals button, there's nothing else is going there. So I don't need this. I don't need all this. I'll just put one step. If I click on sign in. Inspect. Inspect path fill. See, it's like pretty ugly. They'll keep changing it on that. What should I check? inspect input type equals email i want to see if this element is present copy xpath so team i know i'm a little hurried into today's session i didn't uh, do it like fully like peacefully 
don't worry on that we'll do this hundreds of times now my driver dot find element by dot x path and this is my value and you remember single quote issue earlier and end of double quotes end of my curl brackets another one dot now what is it that i have identified i have identified this field now all i don't want to type anything there but maybe if it is present or not dot is displayed or is enabled display is okay is enabled so that i can interact now what will this do this should typically give me a true or a false so i will say sorry team fast tracked for you a little bit today but i will uh, test it out i will give it correct <clears throat> I'll summarize it. We'll go very detailed into this slowly. Test pass, test two pass, two fail is enabled. And this is test one pass, test one fail. I will run it first. Let me see what happens. First test, just our search thing. Fine. Now the second test. It didn't click on sign in. I think it failed. Oh, there you go. See, which one is not interactable? It's still giving me an issue on line 58. Oh, ID equals. Maybe I should make it sleep for a couple of seconds before. Element is not interactable. Of course it is. And that's not a problem. Let me erase this. Okay. It's a very dirty looking code and that is why I wanted to show as the next thing as a J unit version of the same code and how it looks much more prettier and easier to handle especially with more tests coming in. Okay, first is done. I'm going to let the second test run. Let's observe. I want you to click on the sign in link team. I think it's because of this this issue of this pop-up coming. Let me rerun once again, but it'll run from the beginning. See, I have to run all the tests, test case one and then test case two, because I know test case one anyway works fine, but I still need to run it because test case two is after that. See the practical challenge? And when it comes, there's a pop-up coming up on the bottom right. Let me close that quickly. Maybe that's causing it not to interact. Hello. There's no pop up now at all. <laughs> I don't know what happened. This is the one I was pointing to inspect. Inspect. ID equals text what? <clears throat> See, it is a link. It could be a button, whatever. I'm just trying to take an X path. For me, it doesn't matter what it is. It's, I have a lot of ways to identify. This is, should not be a problem, team. I would rather want you to try it out tomorrow. One of you should be able to uh, help me out. It needs to click on the sign in button. Okay. Look into it. Let me know tomorrow, please. A lot of you is working on it. Now, the same thing, I want to be able to write it much more effectively. And for that, we will use JUnit team. We're already towards the time. I want to spend a little bit 
um, expanding this and putting it into J unit. Once you get that feel there, then we'll be able to uh, do a lot more testing through that. Uh, team, from my side, that's it for my um, no other questions uh, exercise for you. Just find why this is not interactable. I'm sure. Very simple, opening the browser, going to the application, maximizing. Be waiting and trying to click on this. And this is not interactable is what we're getting. So I don't think this is the right X path. Maybe there's something else that we need to do. So figure out, let me know. Not now, I want you to show me tomorrow, please, all of you. A text equals sign in, it'll do it. Yes, see again. So the shortcuts, I don't want it to do or even link text and so on. Um, just try the various ways. This one, then I can see what's happening. Identifier ID. Any questions so far? And team, all of you let, letting you know, um, these sessions are still running on the other webinar. I will move you all into the new one. So if you've been attending on this webinar, uh, so please keep watchful for the messages on Skype to register by tomorrow to the new go to webinar. That is where I'll do the session. This I will be deleting now after today's new webinar link for all. Hmm. Oh my goodness, I'm not able to understand smoothly. Okay, so team, this is day seven. Okay, day seven is almost like an introduction to what we're going to be seeing. This is how clumsy it will look in regular Java format. When I write the same thing in a J unit test format, it will look wow. Okay, this looks much, much better. Okay, we should have done this. So you have to be patient. You should never come with hunger as an appetite to learning, just as thirst that this whatever I can. I'll look into and observe. Don't come with too much hunger, team. There's no end to it. You have to just follow my instructions. Never. So I'm seeing some of the members getting already hyper about uh, uh, coding and so on. Just relax. Stay on. Take it as a Netflix thing. Sometimes some episodes won't make sense. Two, three more, you'll see the clarity in it. How to register on Skype? You create your Skype account, the free Skype account. And um, you have to have got welcome pack with the links to join them as well. Can we have today's video ASAP? No, I cannot promise. See, again, see, all these videos are still going on to YouTube. I have to get it put on to our website into members area. I'll try. Emma, you want to speak? Sure, I can unmute you. One second. Anyone else has something to speak? Let me know. Hi, Emma. Can you try and speak up now? <clears throat> Can't hear you. Let me see. Are you all set? Can you hear? I can't hear him. Hello. No, nope. I think you're trying to switch between the phones too. Yes, I know you all can hear me. Just um, him. I had a question from the audience. So. All right, everyone, that's it for my side. I'll see you back tomorrow. Uh, Please look out for the new go to webinar link. Okay, thank you all. Okay, if okay, there are a few questions coming up. Um, if you have a question, you need to put it on chat or raise your hand to unmute you, please. So I know you have a question. Okay, Alemu, I have you unmuted. You're self muted, you and maybe you can unmute and try. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. Hi, okay, you hear me now? You know. Yes. Yeah, the first thing is I thought that uh, the time is 10 sorry to start. That's why I always log in at 10 sorry, but oh. I always get you come early. It's 10? 10 no. sorry is at 1 p.m. Alemu, okay. okay. Yeah. Let me kind of guide you on one thing. Okay. On the webinars, when we yeah. 
there's also a reminder email that comes yeah and this is scheduled please it is a 6 30 to 7 30 pm the one week free jpac training that i did was 7 30 to 8 30 pm pacific that was a 10 30 eastern but these sessions are running from 9 30 to 10 30 eastern oh but the the message i receive is it starts 10 30. oh sorry no, 9 30 to 10 30. you know you're right that's correct. i think i no, no, no. Even we made a mistake initially. Ah, you think? Okay. But then maybe. Oh, that's why I'm late. Okay. The other thing you say there is something we need to do in the weekend. Um, Did you gave already the question or what is that? Actually, not for the training students. More okay. as of now, just to watch and go over. All okay. I said is. Um, this YouTube, there was an issue that we found where I'm not able to click on the sign in. Mm -hmm. I know if I say it, it'll take me two minutes, but I thought everyone should explore. So what I expect people to do is not to wait for this code to come to you, but yeah. look at this video, pause that and try and write your code on the side and practice a little small, small uh, quotes at a time. Uh, but if I want to start early, is there any project you give me or something? okay projects are ongoing um there's okay. a project that is already going on so projects and trainings are already going on you just where? have to connect yeah man oh i have an idea how okay what, what time is that <laughs> okay <laughs> the projects are at um right now it's going on at 10 to 11 30 a.m pacific it's in the morning so that's 1 p.m to 2 30 p.m eastern uh, so again at night I, I was uh, I think my program is to for a live project so which class should I take you should take both do me a favor give me a call tomorrow okay and I'm assuming you're also a JPAC member so we can discuss about yeah. it yeah oh sure right and no yes okay. uh, I had one more question um, sorry not to you um, I don't know okay so yes uh, <clears throat> No, it's basically what we're doing is taking you gradually on the trainings. The videos are there. Uh, practice on them. Trainings are happening. Even if you're unable to attend live, <clears throat> at least show your interest through Skype group or some kind of intimation will put you into the group. You can work offline to anyone. Yeah, I'm interested in that kind of project. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay, I'll and give you a call tomorrow anyway. Okay, yeah. great. Thanks. Thanks. I appreciate You're it. welcome. Mm. Yeah. Hi, Karthik. Can you hear me? Yes, now I can. Okay. Sorry about that. I don't know why I reconnected and now it's fine. So I just wanted to check a couple of things with you. I mm -hmm. told you that I've, I participated in the earlier session, but I, I, I had a deadline to finish a few modules on my application. So I started putting the F Eclipse code, but I, I have a couple of questions for you. So this, can you see my screen? I cannot till I make you the presenter. But let me ask yeah. you, what is that question about? Is it about what we are doing? Eclipse. Yeah, what we are doing. Yes, it's about Eclipse. And then I just wanted to show you uh, the way I put my project in because I have deadlines on it. I just wanted Which to project? quickly show you one like second. two, three minutes. Hold on uh -huh. one second. Which project is this? It's my own application, like where I am working at. No, you cannot show company. that to uh, everyone in this audience. That oh, has to be one-on-one -on -one okay. me. Always. Okay, so how so do I do that, Karthik? Very simple. I am on Skype. Guys, let me be loud and very, very clear. Because I, I try to be on Skype, but I cannot, I couldn't okay. get Hema, anybody's can help, Karthik. No, uh -huh. okay. Sure. All right, Hema, there are about 40 other participants in here. Okay. If I get the same answer from anyone else, I'll accept it. Okay, everyone is on Skype. They're interacting. Maybe you're new. You're, you have, it's just, here's the thing. It's a checklist of a few things get on to the so checklist. is there a particular time okay yeah you have to just get on to skype and ping one of us we'll add you into the right groups and then if okay. you're a jpac member we'll get on to the one-on-ones it shows the application okay. we'll go through it and if the okay. application is interesting and where we see scope where you feel that other members could also come and help you then we will open it up for others at that time so initially, i don't think i can okay sure uh -huh. 
correct so then how do you think you can show it up right now <laughs> no it's because just the layout i'm not going to show all the code and everything there is no passwords associated with it or anything like that but just uh, let's do it as part um, of a project but works. still i'll do it personally yeah one. sorry about correct it. yeah no sure. problem sure. no problem on that uh -huh. sure i would love to look at it yeah all right great thank, thank you thank you kartik you welcome mm -hmm. All right, great. Anyone else, team? Uh, there are a couple of questions on the chat. I also tried what I didn't know, Chitra, to reach you. On Skype, okay, my Skype ID is workasa.ink team. It's very simple. Workasa.ink is my Skype ID. Let me also put it on chat so you know. My only issue is it's very tough for me to know who is what member and so on so i blindly add you and uh, then the team will look into it then that's fine that's my skype id and i'm in all the groups along with you so you can see the skype group members i don't know so all right i'll see you back tomorrow everyone by now long session i thought i'll do a short one Thank you all. And team, for those of you who mentioned it's a little complicated, one, two more sessions, it will sound like that uh, since we're getting the initial coding, uh, but then it will become easier. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Bye now.